Hey guys, today I'm gonna to discuss two-on-ones from an offensive perspective. A couple keys before we get started are deception, underhandling the puck, and having patience. So, a lot of times on a two-on-one, uh, you know, they, they happen a couple times a game, um, and if you're fortunate enough to get into an area uh, to, to give yourself a two-on-one, it's a prime, prime time to take advantage of it and put the puck in the net. So, the first key I wanna talk about is having deception. So, deception can be my eyes. I can look at the net, look at my, uh, my teammate. That way, the forward and the, or the defenseman and the goalie don't know what's coming. Another way of deception is throwing my, folder, my shoulders uh, into the fake shot or a pass, throwing my shoulders. Another uh, form of deception is my stick positioning. What I mean by that is if I'm a righty coming down here and my stick is on this side of my body, then the goalie knows that that's a tough pass to my partner, so you're probably gonna shoot that puck. But if I could kind of keep my stick more out in the front, I have the ability to shoot or make a quick pass to my teammate. So being able to be deceptive is key and it's gonna put the defenseman and the goalie in a vulnerable position and have, force them to make the decision. The next key I wanna talk about is underhandling the puck. Underhandling the puck is so, so important. If I'm skating down as a forward or a defenseman in this position and I am stick handling, stick handling, stick handling, stick handling, stick handling, stick handling, first of all, I might run out of room. Secondly, the defenseman and the goalie know that you're probably not in a position to either shoot or pass because you're busy stick handling and moving your hands. But if you can push the puck on your forehand or backhand and have it into a shooting or passing position, you're gonna put yourself in a great position to be able to make a variety of different decisions, okay? The last thing I wanna talk about is patience. Having patience with a two-on-one. So. For example, Coach Pat Jack brought it to my attention that a lot of players know what they're gonna be doing as soon as they get inside the blue line. But well, hockey's tough and it doesn't go always as planned. So what you need to do is read off where this defenseman and where the goalie is. So if I'm coming in the zone here and I have the puck right here, is this defenseman coming at me is he playing toward the back post? Where's the goalie positioning? Is he cheating the pass? Is he playing off the post? I gotta be able to make a variety of decisions there, but it doesn't start at the blue line. What a good key for you is to make a decision all the way when you're at the hash marks, okay? So you have all this time to be deceptive, to underhandle and be patient. When you're here, that generally, you're gonna be able to make a decision, whether it be a shot, or a pass, depending on where the goalie or where the defenseman and, and the goalie are. I'm going to talk about now uh, a, defending a two-on rush as a defenseman and some keys that go into it. So, first key I want to talk about is making yourself big. When I say that, making yourself big, it's how can I use my skates, my stick, my body positioning, just to make it look as though I'm taking up a lot of space, right? So. For me, I could turn my feet, I could put my stick on the ice, I could have a, I could extend my stick out at the puck carrier. There's a variety of ways to make yourself big, but you wanna make yourself big as possible so the forward thinks in their mind that there's no way a pass can get through. Second uh, key I wanna talk about is reading the puck carrier's hand. Now this is very, very important as a defenseman and it'll help you a lot in defending these rushes. So, if a forward's coming down the ice and he's a lefty, say, and he has that puck right there, that's a pretty dangerous area of the ice for him to have a grade eight scoring chance on his left side, okay? So if he's a lefty in that position, as a defenseman, I'm gonna play him a little tighter. I'm, I'm gonna make sure he can't get off that shot. So although I am playing it in, in between and playing uh, it a two on, as a two on one in between them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my stick is gonna be towards that side more so he doesn't have an easy shot. Now, 
in doing that, what's this gonna do? So if, if, if I have my stick here, more times than not, the forward's gonna have to force, pull it to his backhand, right? As he pulls it to his backhand, now he's in a really, really tough position to make take a shot or make that pass back door. And when he's all the way out here on his backhand, that's a lefty, it's gonna buy you time to take away the back door driving, right? So now, if this forward is a right-handed shot coming down here and he has the puck, from out here, all the way out here, goalies feel comfortable making that save, right? As long as, it's, as long as you don't let them get all the way to the top of the crease, they more often than not feel comfortable making that save. That's a hard, that's a hard shot for that player to score, especially if the goalie takes away his angle. That's a pretty tough shot, okay? Unless you're Austin Matthews and go elbow in. But as a defenseman, if he's a righty and the stick is on the opposite or the far side of his body coming down on a rush, I'm gonna play more towards the pass because I wanna let that goalie have full control over that shot, right? That too, so I'm gonna play a little bit over here. My stick is obviously in a good position, so he can't get the pass through. But as he's skating in and his stick's on that side, I could take away the pass and the goalie has the shot. And uh, if he wants to come to his backhand and try to make a play, I'm in a great position to step up. Now, the most important thing for a defenseman playing a two on one is never, ever, ever let the pass go through. Okay, I'll tell you why too. As a goalie, if this player has the puck and he's skating in right here and you're here, as a goalie, you want to trust your defenseman so much that you can just play that shot, right? Ask any of your goalies. They'll tell you, I just want the shot. Let me have the shot. I, can, I have a good chance to make that save. But if you let this pass go through and the goalie is so set on making that save, it's going to be an automatic goal every single time. So the, big, the biggest, biggest key is to not let that pass go through. I mean, you're in an odd man situation. They might get a, they, odds are they probably will get a shot, but if you can limit their scoring chance and uh, opportunity to a, le a lesser percentage, that's the main goal.